Do you have team members that sometimes don't follow your direction? Well, before you lay down the punishment, watch this video. Hey, it's Jason Everett from highperformancesalon.com. And if you have a business, and if you have staff, my guess is sometimes people don't listen to you. And you know, if you're a parent and you have kids, you know that you gotta remind your kids over and over again. You gotta tell them over and over and over again. But when you have a business, you go, look, these aren't children, these are grown adults. There is no reason why you should have to tell them one, two, three, five, ten, a thousand times. I should just have to let them know one time what my expectation is or let them just read my mind. They should know exactly what it is because they are grown adults. Well, listen, here's the problem, is that so many people get fired up and frustrated because they're like, I don't wanna repeat myself. Because one option is you could repeat yourself all the time. Repeat yourself all the time. Repeat yourself all the time. One option is you could put a bigger sign up. We could put a sign up that was in red letters, right? You can do all these things to try and remind people. Or you can do what I recommend, which is actually use a tool called praise. Now you might be like, Jason, how am I supposed to praise somebody if they're not doing what I ask? Here's what you gotta ask yourself. When's the last time you praise somebody for doing something well? Did you praise them? Did you celebrate them? Think about that parking spot at some businesses. It says employee of the month. That's a praiseworthy activity. That means that employee went above and beyond. Now you might say, Jason, this employee has nothing to praise. Well, this is what you gotta do. You gotta actually praise the employees who are doing things well to get the employees that aren't doing things well to start paying attention. Like, if I wanna get that type of praise, what do I need to do? How do I need to act? How do I need to behave? And show them the behavior that you want that's actually praiseworthy. And even if you've got somebody like, you know, nobody on my team listens, find something that you can praise them for. Because one of the most common mistakes that salon owners make over and over again is they go, well, look, that's just part of their job. I shouldn't have to praise them for what they should already be doing. But when you give up that praise, what'll start to happen is they go, well, it doesn't really matter if I do my job anyway, it doesn't matter. And they start to slip backwards and they start to think about other things that they're like, well, what else could I get away with not doing that the owner doesn't care? Now, the last thing I wanna say is if you do want to create some punishment or some consequences, what a better word I would probably say for that, is there's a few things you gotta do. Number one, don't just create consequences arbitrarily. What you wanna do is create consequences with agreement in advance. Hey, if that doesn't happen again, what can we put in place? What can we put in place as a system to help remind you to make sure you get that accomplished. Could be a checklist, it could be uh, some sort of penalty or some sort of thing, but make sure that you start with a praise first because consequences should only be used as a last resort. If this video has been helpful for you, do me a favor, tag three people that you know that need to watch this video, even if they're not in the salon industry, and let them know how they can change their business. Until then, have an awesome week.